I saw the murder. In fact, I was in the room when it happened. No, no, not out there. In here. Hey, number one officer, let's not waste time marveling at the wonders of Bakelite and get to the good part. I'd only been in Templeton's little world for a few hours, but when that knock came rat tat tatin I knew his number was up. We've settled this already, he said. I won't be sending any more money your way. Squeal all you want. Oh, I'm not here for your money, Templeton. Now, as I told your friend here, the night itself came knocking to give Templeton his due. <laughs> what, I figured you'd already heard it? Why not embellish a little bit? Practice a little dramatic flair? Tough crowd, eh? No nonsense. Fine. I'll tell you what really happened. We've settled this already, he said. I won't be sending any more money your way. Squeal all you want. You shouldn't hide from your debts, Templeton. You've got a lot of spirit. As I was saying? You've got a lot of spirit, Templeton. I'd have thought you'd have paid out when you lost a game. The killer fled soon after. The worn suit, the shaggy hair. Look at him, the guy's no mad dog, no Robin Hood. He's just a short-sighted poker player. So I let him go. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a good story.